cybersecurity and misinformation is on the top of mind of many voters. Now joining me live in the studio is Assistant Professor of Cybersecurity at Canisius University, Justin Del Vecchio. Thank you so much for joining us for Most Buffalo today. You're welcome. Thanks for being here. So we just briefly kind of talked about AI, right? Yeah. But can you go into detail a little bit more about that and how it could potentially pose a threat to voters? Or yeah, if it absolutely. does? It does in, in, in many ways. So generative AI or conversational AI really came onto the scene around 2022, November of 2022, with the release of ChatGPT. People may be familiar with this. Those are the sites where you can go to it. You can input a question and you'll get back a conversation. The first thing that happened when these tools came out was academia was impacted by it and also industry. And marketing was one of the places that adopted ChatGPT and these conversational AI technologies because they were able to generate such great content. Our adversaries, think countries like Iran or Russia, have also adopted these technologies as well and use them not for marketing in the traditional sense, but to market their themes or ideas to people in the United States. So they will have teams of people who work at developing content, working with these chat GPT type agents, specifically to influence campaigns, direct opinions, and cause general tension and disregard in the country. Yeah, we have a lot of questions to get to here. Yeah. So we want to kind of go into cyber attacks. Um, and there's, like we were talking about, a lot of information out there. How do people kind of sort through that information and figure out what is accurate and what might not be? Oh, um, the, the information that they are presented with respect to attacks on sites. Most of the information that you should regard is information that comes from CISA. So you mentioned CISA before, the um, Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency. They do a terrific job and they have bulletins and they inform people about what is going on. Other great sources to go to are companies like Microsoft. So in our country, we have 3,000 counties and each one of them is responsible for administering their election sites, not the voting equipment, but mm -hmm. the sites that report the results. Companies like Microsoft will monitor those sites and understand if they are being attacked by our adversaries. For example, Iran might uh, try to attack this site and understand if in the 48 hours before or after election night, they can infiltrate those sites and cause havoc. And what about just general information that people can sort through? Because obviously, like we're talking, there's a lot of information out there. Yeah, there is a lot of information out there. It tends to be sourced by people once things get released. For example, there was a video of Kamala Harris and she was in Zambia and they accused her of poaching and this got 5 million views on X, but it was quickly identified as being fraudulent. But something that you can do with respect to whether or not a site is malicious or a URL that you know, I identifies as it has this type of information, for example, you get text messages that say this URL will take you to this article. There are sites out there. One of them is called Virus Total. Another one is called Palo Alto, where you can literally take the URL for the site pasted in there and it will give you an evaluation as to whether or not this site is, it won't tell you if it's like legitimate information, but it'll tell you if it's trying to harm you. Um, it would try to install malware on your computer if you actually went and clicked on it. Wow, so yeah. anything else that people should be aware of? I think that we are doing a great job in this country of identifying these threats ahead of time and notifying like the municip municipalities, the election um, officials that, hey, there is trouble ahead and there are tons of resources provided by CISA to our local election um, authorities to harden their sites and make sure that there is not going to be problems on election night. Justin, we appreciate all of your insight and for coming no on Most Buffalo today. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much.